YouTube, it's your boy, Young Equity Chris. It's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin becoming a legal tender in El Salvador. I know we're a little bit late talking about this, but we'll still give our take. Number one, I know that there's been a lot of volatility with Bitcoin since it's become a legal tender in El Salvador, but there's a few reasons for that. A lot of the reasons people invest in Bitcoin because you can buy it anonymously, send it anonymously, you know, that, that's just an aspect of it. And there is belief that if it starts to become legal tenders in a number of countries, then Bitcoin will start to become regulated and maybe the ability for payers to remain anonymous what may be a thing of the past. So that has been the reason for the bumpy ride of the price. But with that said, what I think, I think it's a great move for a country that has a weak currency. Yeah, I think it's a good move. I mean, you would think that when a country accepts Bitcoin that the price would go up, but it seems to have the opposite effect, which is pretty weird. I feel like El Salvador is still one of those countries that don't really have a lot of resources. So with that being said, it's not it's not really a viable candidate for the price to go up. You know what I mean? It's almost a third world country type situation out there. They don't really have a lot of technological advances. So uh, maybe that's kind of why it's kind of plummeting there. But if they're right and other people start getting involved and other, you know, countries, hopefully the U.S. start taking this as a serious um, legal tender, then, you know, hopefully that price goes up. Uh, yeah, I mean, just from an infrastructure perspective, uh, to pick it back, what you're talking about, even us in the United States, uh, a lot of retailers aren't primed to set Bitcoin as currency because, again, it takes 30 minutes to do a transaction. Then you have to have a terminal that's Bitcoin capable. So, I mean, it's very complex. So if there were to be a boom because the country makes it a legal ten tender, it wouldn't be right now because... I don't think many countries are in the position to even uh, take advantage of Bitcoin being a legal tender, because I think even like Canada's, you know, POS system is more advanced in the U.S. Like every POS in Canada takes Apple Pay and such, mm -hmm. whereas in the U.S. a lot of ours don't like, you know, at the company at the store I used to work at, we didn't even have the chip yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, you know, with that said, that also plays into, you know, not seeing the big boom in price. Right. Because what increases prices demand and speculation right so we have some speculation but the demand hasn't came yet because i don't know if they're in a position to execute uh having bitcoin as a legal tender no that makes sense but as of right now it's at 45k right mm -hmm. so what are your thoughts do you think get in now since it had the pullback do you think wait a little bit longer or buy Man, I'm all about until Bitcoin cracks sixty five thousand a coin. I'm all about Bitcoin under thirty five. Okay. Bitcoin under thirty five thousand buy. If it cracks sixty five, then I'm gonna have to reevaluate and raise that number. Man, you know, I should have bought it when it was at twenty eight thousand. Yep. I mean, th the day that it was at twenty eight thousand, I thought about it. I was like, man, this is never gonna happen again. But I feel like we have an opportunity to see it around thirty five thousand. Um, 10k it's very it's a very volatile coin mm -hmm. so 5,000 10,000 can definitely happen within the next couple weeks or a month um, another thing is like all the markets are kind of taking a correction right now and I was getting kind of happy because ethereum was hitting that 4k range and that's kind of where I'm at so um, I'm, I didn't take advantage of buying or selling but I feel like the next time it goes down to 2000 range, I'm going to buy that. Mm -hmm. Similar to your ADA, your Cardano, um, if that takes a, a significant correction, definitely buy more of that. I'm all for crypto. So Bitcoin at 45, I still think is a great buy. As far as crypto is concerned, you know, there's only four I would even think about buying. Ethereum, which I own, Bitcoin, which I own, Dogecoin, which I own, and ADA, which I don't own. Because there's a lot of scammy coins out there. There's a lot of people creating scammy coins. It's a giverish quick scheme, pumping and dumping and paying pumpers and all that weird stuff. So I personally gonna stick to those four. But what do I know? I'm not a crypto advisor. <laughs> and I'm not an expert at anything. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video. It's your boy, Young Equity Chris. It's your boy, Young Equity Devin. Let's get it. Yes, sir. We're back.
Yeah.